Long distance relationships are hard. Out of sight sometimes really does mean out of mind. So in this video, I wanna give you five tips to create a strong long distance relationship, to build more connection and move you both towards a lifelong commitment that'll bring you together in person. Hi, I'm Jason Silver. I am the dating coach for ambitious women. In this channel, Attract Great Guys, we dive into strategies, principles, and deep psychology about what drives attraction and lifelong committed relationships with high quality men. If you haven't done so already, please hit that red subscribe button and the little notification bell right next to it so you get notified of all of my upcoming trainings. Now, the first tip I wanna give you, this is actually a requirement. Before you commit to monogamy in a relationship, you need to ask yourself this question. And this is applicable, especially if you're long distance. Do I know who this man really is? Have I met his social circle? Have I met his family and friends? Until you reach that point where you have met them, then I would encourage you not to invest in a monogamous commitment because quite frankly, long distance relationships are a breeding ground for scams, lying, and manipulation. So to prevent that and to protect yourself, you have to ask yourself, do I actually know who this man really is? Not based on what he's told me, but based on what you've seen with your own two eyes. His home life, his friends, his family, his work. Do you know what his life is actually like or are you just relying completely on what he's told you? Now obviously, you don't have to have any of that verified when you're just beginning a relationship. But it's important to move forward with skepticism because in the beginning of a long distance relationship, it's important for you to get to know someone before you waste a lot of your time and energy and potentially even money. So you're gonna want someone who's not playing around, who's not gonna drag the long distance thing out by being wishy-washy or not wanting to see you or get to know you frequently. You have to be cautious to not invest too much emotionally before you've gotten to know him in real life. That's number one and probably the most important tip that I can give you. Now the second tip is to become very clear on the outcome. What is your end goal of this long distance relationship? Do you ultimately wanna to live together? This is the key to understand. I see so many issues where there's a lack of clarity on the outcome. What exactly is this long distance process moving you towards? Asking this question will help you so much. It'll help you to understand what questions to ask, how to get to know one another. If a man tries to put off these questions and say, listen, I just wanna to get to know you one day at a time, let's take it slow, what's the rush? You have to be aware that at the end of the day, what is the process for progressing a relationship? And what does a relationship mean to both of you? In other words, if this were a series of dominoes and the final big domino is tipping over and that's marriage, what requirements need to happen along that path? And if he says to you, well, this is just gonna be natural, that's a red flag because there's no intention. There's no process or plan and it becomes emotionally confusing and easier for him to manipulate you or to gain power in the dynamic. Now it would be very simple if you were both truly invested in living together, having these types of important conversations shouldn't feel like a chore. These are natural questions to ask yourself if you're both serious about a committed relationship. This should actually be exciting. The fact that you both have the opportunity to move forward together as a partnership and talk about the logistics of that should be an exciting thing to think about your vision, your dream together. And if you can't even talk about where you wanna go, then how are you supposed to get there? A partnership is like a team. It's like both of you driving together in a car and working together to navigate where you're going. And if it's just one person thinking about where you're going and the, the other person isn't thinking or isn't willing to even talk about it or create a plan, that's a huge red flag. Why would he not get excited about creating his future together with you? Think about that. What is stopping him from wanting to talk about it? And it's usually that you don't have the same aligned goals. That's the key here. You should both be discovering together what your future is, making sure it's aligned, and then taking steps together to get there. So that's the second tip. Ask, what are you looking for in the future? What do you really want? And what would it take for you to wanna to move in with a partner? Like what's the requirements in your mind? 
Now, once you understand that, once you understand the answers to those questions, now you can ask yourself a very important question. Is he actually making this outcome a priority in his life? Is he actually taking those steps that are necessary? Because if he's not prioritizing that, then what are you doing? Where is this relationship really going? That's the question. Now let's go to number three. Number three is to spend time daily with one another. It's important to spend time together, even if it's just hopping on a two minute phone call, but treating this like a real relationship where you're investing time with one another and talking almost every day. Because if you're a partnership, I get that maybe if you're long distance, you can't come home and say, hey, how you doing, how was your day? So if you can't do that, doing the best that you can to stay connected, to understand what's going on in his life and to learn about it. Now, I don't want you to invest hours and hours and hours. Your life, your real life should take priority over sitting on a phone call. But regardless of how convenient it is, it's important to stay connected. And if he's unwilling to prioritize that connection or that time between the two of you, that's another red flag. Just because you're in a long distance relationship doesn't give either of you a hall pass to not spend quality time with one another, whether it's over the telephone or a video conference, FaceTime if you've got an iPhone, or some way that you two can spend connected time. Now along those lines, tip number four is to schedule a date night. If you're in a relationship, investing in a date night is important. Maybe you schedule a video date where you just set up your Zoom chat and you both cook dinner and you sit down at the table and you eat while you're on a Zoom call. I know it's not perfect, but anything that you can do to spice up the relationship a little bit and create a bonding moment is important and something that needs to be planned for. It can't just be spur of the moment, like, hey, I got 20 minutes. Do you wanna you know, do this one thing? This should show that he and you are both investing in a scheduled time to connect. And this is an opportunity for both of you to show each other that you're important and you're willing to invest in this relationship, even if it's long distance. Finally, I have to say that nothing is a substitute for in-person communication. Heart to heart, face to face, quality time with the other person, seeing with your own two eyes what they're doing, meeting their social circle, spending real time together, seeing and feeling their emotional reactions in person. This is so important. Without that, we don't really know someone. This could be a big financial investment if you're dating someone to take a plane, a train, an automobile, whatever you need to do to invest in that person, it's an investment. But I encourage you, it's important to invest in real face-to-face -face time because long distance should only be temporary if possible. And if he's not committed in investing in you and spending real face-to-face -face time together, it's a huge red flag. If he doesn't wanna see you and meet you and meet your social circle and bring you into his life, then it typically means he's hiding something from you. So I don't know what it is that you're creating together, but if you're not getting to know each other's families and social circles and getting in depth in each other's lives, then I don't know what you're creating, but it's not a monogamous committed relationship, I'll tell you that. But if you do follow these five tips, you can build a deep relationship with someone. It's gonna be difficult, but this will help you to qualify and filter out the players and the scammers and the guys who aren't actually committed to building a relationship. And if you're uncertain with your own relationship or even how to meet a quality guy, I'm here to personally walk you step by step through the process. I actually have the best strategy that I use with my personal VIP coaching clients. I would love for you to be a part of it. If you'd like to hear more about my VIP coaching program, click the link below this video. You'll hear about in a presentation and an opportunity for you to apply. I hope you do, and I'll see you over there. Be well.